In the previous episode, Vlandia continued its border gore in the middle of the Empire lands. We fought a battle outnumbered 3 to 1 and won, and started a new division of Javelin Cavalry. We hired several companions and lost Yellow Snow in battle. You know, since we're here, let's just keep going. Let's go to Emperla and we can go to a couple of the Kazate. We haven't done any Kazate yet. Wow, that's huge. 445? What the heck? Yeah, that's really big. Right, let's go Balticon. Oh, Batania. Interesting. So they declared war on us, which is kind of stupid. They're such a small faction. Let's go to a couple up here and then we'll work our way back towards Batania. Yeah, we'll head back this way via Argoron. Yeah, there are. There's those big parties. Oh man, there's a lot. So that that's actually a pretty big threat. And they move pretty fast. 400 or 4 movement speed is pretty fast. I mean, we're moving at 4.3. Right, well, we'll just go south and get around them. There's, they're everywhere. There's more pillaging brigands. I wonder what spawns those guys. I think we should spend most of our time focused on the Batanian lands. Oh, there are none. Okay. <laughs> There's three castles left. That's it. Okay, so they don't have much left. I thought they still had Marinoth. I guess they did not. We'll at least oversee the finishing blows and they're Sorry. gonna keep hiring mercenaries we'll keep taking them out now, let's take our cav and we'll go destroy their cav and their archers they have a very small group oh one tapped him hunt hunt sandal got him with the one tap all right let's see if they can work their magic again all right easy shots boys they're not even moving all right they're taking some hits all right one's down after taking like seven javelins they need to they need to get more skill so i'm not it's not a complaint, it just uh, the damage scales with the skill itself, not so much the the weapons. I mean with the weapons too, but definitely with the skill. Alright, we should be able to get some some good javelins in here. We gotta inch our way up so they don't charge us. There we go. Javelin Cav getting some kills now. And let's charge in the cav. Yeah, it's just mayhem. There's so much going on. They're getting hit in the front. They're getting charge damage. They're getting couch lance. They got javelins in the back. They're getting shot at by arrows. I don't know what else they can do. Jeremos the hand died. Beautiful. And not a whole lot to look at here because they didn't have a whole lot of units to begin with. And the upgrades are getting a little slim here. We're not getting a whole lot after these battles, but that's a good thing. I think it means that we're our armor is pretty close to the late game stuff. And Rimtoil falls to the west. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we would get that one too. But see, they've got Aster and Abkhmer, both of which are being sieged. So once this siege is done, the Batanian will be landless, and I think they'll probably die off in another year or so. Let's help them. Let's speed that up a little bit. All right. She's fast. Oh, there's Harold Godwinson. All right, he thinks he's getting a free caravan. Let's go ahead and save the caravan. All right, there's a river in the way. We got to go over the bridge. Hopefully they're not holding the bridge. There they are. Yeah, they're coming over actually. So we can just back up a little bit. Yeah, we'll harass right here. I don't think they'll chase after us. Harold Godwinson's down. We didn't kill him, but he did go down in battle, unfortunately. And again, not really an eventful battle, but we did help out a caravan. And we took out the king. We might have some upgrades here, actually. Yeah, these guys had a lot of good gear. And towers, I don't think we're going to be able to catch. Too small, too fast. Abkhmer is ours. And Aster. Okay, so everything's gone. They have no land left. Let's actually double check that. So Batania, no towns, no castles. So they're, well, they're already at 100% war exhaustion. So they're pretty much done. They're going to bow out. Now we got to deal with Sturgia, who just declared war. And that's a fresh one. And Kazate. Why did they declare? Well, at least we can take Epicrodia. Yeah, these are going to be a little bit defenseless, I think, because most of our troops are on this side. But I guess we'll see. Let's go harass the Sturgians. That seems like a good plan. Yep, yeah, Batania is no more. They're gone. All right, so that's two kingdoms down, I think, right? Is that the west? No, 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 sorry, the north. North is gone. Batania is gone. We can take these guys out, I think. Yeah, we're not fighting in the village. All right, we'll get archers set up on the side. 
take out a couple of these cab first. And then we're just sending our infantry in. We've got such strong numbers, we can pretty much just send people in and, and not worry about it at this point. Let's get some XP for, for our uh, Javelin Cav. Get these guys nice and nervous with a, a nice big group of Cav just sitting right behind them. And they've got a couple horse archers. Let's take these guys out. Oh, deliver that guy right to the crowd. Man, we smashed his horse and he fell right into it. All right, pretty easy. We did lose one. Uh, one of our golden boar lanciers. And the javelin cab did a pretty good job here. Quite a few kills there considering there weren't a lot of people with them anyways. Yeah, everybody did pretty well. Like I said, at this point we can pretty much send just send people in against these small parties and not worry about it too much. Still get some good upgrades. We should probably start look to expand one of our divisions or start a ranged division because that's really the only thing we don't have. We've got skirmisher cav, melee cav, shock troops. We got our shield wall that also double as the javelin infantry. We need to buff up our ranged units. These guys aren't cutting it and there's not enough of them to make much of an impact. And these guys think they're going to be raiding us, but that's not what's going to happen. They're about to get smacked. Right, and the game keeps splitting our units up. I don't know why. Let's just put our shock troops in there for now. Why tail worlds? Leave my formations alone. Let's get our cab to follow. Man, I can't see squat. We're going to have to go first person on this one. Their cab are coming in. Let's get a couch lance going. Yeah, too much armor. We can't really do much damage to him. Let's keep an eye on our troops. All right, Javelin Cav can get lined up back here. Melee Cav will take out these archers. They've got a handful of them, but they're they're pretty low tier, so I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, we should probably spend some time picking off these Cav because they're pretty nasty. All right, there's one of their nobles. Oh. <laughs> Got nailed. And that should be just about the last of them. They've got one cab that is just going around and picking everybody out. This is so annoying. It's literally one guy. I already saw him kill somebody. And he's taking out two more. Like, can our entire army not take out one guy? All right, here he goes again. This is so ridiculous, man. This is like five or ten minutes of work just for, for one, for a single troop. Why can't this guy just run? We, oh, you gotta be kidding me. We lost two people. One of them was our cav. He, I, I'm pretty sure it was that one guy that couch lanced him too. Oh well. We'll have to replace them. We need to get some materials so we can craft another one. I will right, we'll let you go. We've got a little bit of a helmet upgrade here. Man, that thing looks beefy. And the nice thing is it has face and neck armor, so it's pretty good. So, Ethereon, sorry, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know. That one guy was just running rampant. I don't know what we could have done there. It's just kind of silly if we had to group everybody up and just not move until that one single cav is gone. Otherwise, it's like everybody's at risk of dying. It's kind of weird. And we hit level 150 on Charm. We'll take the hiring cost for Mercenary troops it doesn't really make much of a difference anyways but we might as well our scout actually our scout hit 275 so we'll get some movement speed from that our surgeon hit level 100 so we're going to take the healing rate one above 70 morale most of the time we're going to be at 100 so we shouldn't have a problem with that one of our infantry hit 275 for athletics so anamander's got it so in order to hire another one we need to find see we need six so we can craft three of these things so we could actually just smelt or refine it we could just refine let's do that and let's go ahead and make three of these so let's have a chat with Marshall Longarm. We're going to have him replace as the Javelin Cavalry. So let's get you loaded out here. All right, looking good. Starting off with a lot of armor. So hopefully, well, the other guy had a lot of armor too. So I don't know. Must have got a lucky hit on the face or something because it's 
Kind of unusual. Maybe it was a couch lines to the face, if I had to guess. So, Marshall Longarm, you're actually in the right spot, so we'll just leave you be. So we're back up to 10, and we've got a few people that are quite injured, so let's wait. Let them get healed up. And let's check out our workshops. I think it's been more than seven days. Yeah, so that plus five grand has fallen off. So, linen weavery is garbage. Pottery is okay, I guess. It's not even 100, though. And then all of press is pretty bad. Pretty much everything we've tried has been bad except for the wood workshop. But the problem with the wood workshop, it goes up when something big sells, it's produced and sells. And then when it, you know, in the middle of the production, your income goes down. So 388 is not accurate. It's probably about half that if you were to average it out. Pretty interesting, though. I think once prosperity goes up a bit higher, we could probably upgrade these. In the early game, when prosperity is really low, I think it's just too much. Oh, we did lose. Uh, we lost the alleyway at Sargo, I believe it was. Yeah, so we've got our brother. We could send him out on a caravan or something. He's not really doing anything right now. Now, Phil Johnson, our steward, did hit two, was this 225? No, 200. So we can take contractors. It's going to give us a cheaper wage for the mercenary troops. Assuming these units actually count as mercenary. They may not. I'm not sure. Things get a little screwy when you start using mods. Uh, that add, you know, they change the troop tree and they add the troop tree. They may not get tagged properly, is my guess. For 125 medicine, let's go siege medic. We don't want to be taking big casualties doing those, uh, those siege duels. But you know what we could do, actually? Let's call our brother in. Let's have him join us. Two days, that's fine. We'll wait a little bit. And then we're going to send him out on a caravan. But let's go ahead and send him out. Well, you know what? I forgot to check and see if we even gave him good gear. Whatever. Good luck, Roger. All right, back to the wars. And it looks like Revel's being sieged. We can go check that out. So we haven't been to Varcheg yet. Let's do that. And let's trap these nobles in. Oh, we took it. So we'll bait them into charging. We'll just set up right here in the front. And let's try to take these cab out as they come through the backside. Oh, what are you doing? Get back. Let's get our javelin cab up on the hill. And we'll get our melee cab back there harassing the archers. And we'll go back here and take care of these guys. Since the AI doesn't seem to want to. There we go. Did we seriously lose another one? What the heck, man? All right, we just killed Vizduna. Yeah, we lost one of our javelin cab again. I don't know if they died or just injured. Uh, maybe we gotta be more, more careful with them. All right, let's see. All right, just Vizduna, so we didn't actually lose. No, we didn't. Wait, what happened here? No, there's 10 there. One of them must have gotten moved to a different formation then. Yeah, I'm really confused right now. <laughs> What is going on here? All right, infantry got a lot of kills. Gilles got four. Teal with three. That's pretty good. And then our, our cav, our melee cav did pretty well as well. So Hugo and Jeff. But on the bright side, we took out another noble. And we got a ton of upgrades here. Now, let's see. Did I set something up wrong? No, he's got a horse. He should have been in that formation. I don't know why he wasn't. You know what could have happened is he could have gotten knocked off his horse. And then he got put into the infantry, you know, banner lord things. All right, so this has got only 110 militia. Yeah, we basically don't need to do anything. We'll just let them auto-resolve it. Sturgia is wiped off of the map on this little peninsula. They just got one little sliver up here. So two castles, two towns, and then they're wiped out as well. And Constantine the Tenth is still alive. Beautiful. And Pencanox being sieged. I think we're going to let that go as well. We don't need to be worrying about 30. <laughs> we're making 40 from that. So basically a waste of time to even look at it. And we get our first infantry to reach 275 polearm. So Jeddah, we're going to be getting a lot more damage and swing speed out of that. And let's go keep an eye on these guys. Looks like Of Castle is going to get sieged. No, it's not. They backed out. Oh, I was not paying attention. We were zoomed out. So I guess we're fighting. And they've got a lot of infantry. So they're mostly infantry which seems leads me to believe they have a lot of high tier. Maybe not. I don't know. Why is their bounce power so high? I'm not sure. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, you know what? We didn't assign him pre-battle. That's why he was just in the middle and then he ended up getting assigned to probably to the melee cav. Now we're actually going to be attacked and most likely they're going to be coming from on top of that hill. So let's find a better spot. I don't know where the out of bounds is, but something like this ridge would be really nice if we can get there. We may not be able to get there though. Well, let's try it. Yeah, they start on that that gigantic hill. So let's get over there. Sweet. So this whole thing is open. This is available. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. We can set up a, a really strong defense up here. They're sending some horse archers to harass us. So we will counter by sending both of our, our cavalry over there. It insists on keeping up units in this group. I locked it several times. It keeps unlocking it. This is supposed to be just the, the shock troops. 
Oh boy, what happened here? Why are our, why do we have Cav all the way up there? I'm pretty sure I pulled them back, but maybe I clicked the wrong button. They're getting kills, but that's very risky. They're fighting on a hill against much bigger numbers. All right, let's get back up the hill. They keep they keep harassing our our Cav, and I feel like somebody's gonna get touched Lance to the face again. Definitely don't want that happen. And what I'm gonna do? It's this line is not strong enough. We're going to have to mix in our, our shock troops in there. I really don't want them in there, but our line's not strong enough. So we should be fine like this, though. Yeah, and they're still harassing us. They're doing a good job keeping us uh, from getting comfy. All right, there's one. And they are swarming us right now. What is going on here? Let's get our cab. You guys should be attacking. All right, let's get into shield wall. Now, they seem to have a bit of an advantage here, so let's, uh, that's not what I wanted. It's cutting off the hill. I can't control. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall right here. That's all right. We'll pull them back up. Let's get, let's get the archers up on this ridge, and we should be able to get some shots on their flanks. And I think we can also do the same with our javelin cav. We should be able to get some, some flanking shots from here. Some javelins. And let's get our melee cav down there harassing the archers. Hopefully they don't know they're going to run right through. It's not, I thought I had them off to the side. Let's get them off to the side. All right, there we go. Now we can get them down. These guys are incredibly well balanced. Their their army is really well balanced. It's, it's kind of hard. The only thing they're really light on is range units. But everything else is just real pain in the neck. They're making our life real hard here. All right, that guy's dehorsed. We don't have to worry about him for a while. Let's go ahead and line charge. Let's get our javelin cab down there. We can get some shots. I think oh, they've only got a couple horses left. He's pretty much good as dead. All right, their horses don't seem to be well armored, at least these ones. Some of them do have the one that has the chain mail all around. Those ones are a bit tougher. But like this guy is not armored at all on the legs. We can take that horse out pretty easily. And this guy's just begging for a couch lance. Just begging for it. Come on, boys. Drop him. Drop him. There we go. Theo. Smacked him with the mace. All right, that was that was a little bit of a frustrating battle, but partly because the AI did a really good job, which I'm not upset about because that was a pretty fun battle. It's definitely a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts to keep in mind. And I messed up a couple times, so kudos to them. And we didn't lose anybody. We did lose one of our troops, but not, not any of our companions. So Tia Lord went down, Abu Andrew, and that's it. But we had some good performances from our Cav. Chumber and Hugo did really well. Sunyi did really well. Javelin Cav did pretty decent overall. So Marshall with three, Abu Andrew with three, Hoki with four. Ooh, there we go. That, that Bubba was six. And the shock troops, usually when you mix shock troops in, they tend to get stuck in the back of the formation. So I'm not surprised that they didn't really get much action here. That's generally why I keep them separate. And then I charge them around manually. So, but 56 influence, that's pretty good. And we'll just keep stacking up a little bit of charm here and there. We got a lordly armor. That's pretty good. A lot of upgrades there, which we don't say too often anymore because our guys are really well armored. Tim hit 275 athletics. So we're, they're starting to all come in now. Shmelly Elite also got 275. Yeah, let's keep moving. We'll zoom in a little bit this time so we don't get caught off guard. It happens. Ooh, there's a free target. Well, they're being okay. guarded by a lot. But we'll take the fight, though. This is a good fight for us, I think. And let's adjust our group. Yeah, see, it keeps putting troops back in here. We don't want that many. Now, they're going to be coming after us, so we could set up choke points here. There's a nice little courtyard. Fences and all kinds of stuff in here. Let's set up right here. And they start fairly close to us, so let's hurry up. Now, this is a good choke point right here. We'll keep our main force right here. We'll probably keep the shock troops on the left. And then maybe we'll keep 
How many do they have? Yeah, they don't have a ton of archers, so we'll keep our archers, our ranged units on the right. So even if they get past, we should be okay. Let's actually go shield wall right away. And we'll plug up the rest of that gap. And let's make sure these guys are all the way on the side here. Yeah, let's not mix. And we'll keep our javelin cav kind of back here. And then, yeah, they're charging around, so we do have to be careful. So those are actually archer uh, cav archers. So, but they, again... They seem to have very weak armor up for the legs. If we can get to the legs. Yeah, some of these guys are pretty well armored, though. These guys are not going down. Let's back out. All right, contact on the infantry. Oh, yeah, somebody take that guy out, please. I was going to say, that guy was getting real cocky. Right, our shark troops are taking some damage here. Let's help them out. They don't have shields, so they're pretty susceptible. But it looks like it's it's kind of shark troop versus shark troop on this side. They do have some shields. But it looks like it's mostly shark troops. So we'll get in there. All right, seems like we're doing okay. They do have some pretty aggressive archers. Let's get our guys back there. So we're just going to set the set our cav right here. And we're going to help take some of these guys off because... I don't have a whole lot of faith in the AI uh, navigating this area. Right, we're taking some losses with our infantry, but it seems like they're holding pretty well. I think overall we're, we're still doing okay. Yeah, our, we're best suited to taking these guys out so our infantry doesn't have to you know, get shot at while we're approaching. Right, let's charge our infantry so they can get some hits. Yeah, we're gonna run down the fling guys. We'll just let them do their thing. We gotta still deal with a couple horse archers, because that's just how it is. Oh man, somebody got a good shot on him. All right, they got more cab behind us. And we're losing a few people to them. Hopefully we can get to them. There we go, good couch lance. All right, so he's pretty much doomed. Let's go after the guys that are still mounted. That guy got blasted. 257. Right to the face. And there goes the noble. And they got one. Of course they have a horse archer left. <laughs> if there's one unit that's going to, you know, spoil your day, it's going to be a horse archer. Like 99% of the time. All right, let's get this guy out. Nice. Not too bad. We did lose a few troops. Uh, with just one and then two injured. So Abu Andrew went down. Tia Lord went down. But luckily they didn't die. But one of our, our frontliners did die. So some pretty good performances from our infantry. Not really surprising though. Hyena got five. Hugh with four. A couple of the people with three. Skirmisher Cav didn't really do a lot. It seems like they don't really do well against other cavalry. I've noticed. They seem to do well against infantry. So if they're moving, they don't do well. And if the target they're trying to attack is moving, especially cav when they're moving fast, they don't seem to hit much. But if they're moving like infantry kind of slowly or standing still, they are pinpoint accurate. And then our cab did really well. Sunni and Lord Z with uh, three and Jeff with four. So 53 influence, we'll take it. And we'll let two of these nobles go. We just got five charm levels from that. And we're still getting upgrades. Yep, a lot of upgrades. Now we are actually overburdened by quite a bit. We need to do something about that. There is... Oh, this guy's got zero. Oh, we're getting chased, aren't we? Yeah, we need to break. There we go. We could probably take them, to be honest. But I don't know if it's really worth it. We're overburdened. I think it was 1,300 out of 11. So we're pretty badly overburdened. And we probably have a herd penalty. We do oh, 0.89. That's huge. All right, so we're not doing too well. Let's let's actually get back to Varcheg. We can sell some stuff. Uh, that was a quick piece. So Vlandia expands. That was a pretty quick war, but consolidated a bit more of Batania and a little more Asturgia. Not as much border gore, although there's still a bit of border gore going on down here. Oh, Lycaron. What happened here? Why do we own land in Lycaron? The AI seems to be doing a good job sieging this game, at least the Vlandians. Now that we've got this all filled out, let's go ahead and start working on our athletics. We've got a long way to go. Yeah, and our one-handed is, is pretty bad right now, too. Abu Andrew, 275 athletics, and Anas hit 275 polearm. So this is our first cavalry to hit polearm, I believe. Pretty interested to see how that works out. Oh boy, here we go. Hugh Janus. 250 impale that is really cool so we should be seeing a lot of kills from this guy especially against low tier units 
And also medicine, we got 150, probably waiting in towns. So we'll, we'll take pristine streets. And then we'll also put the final focus point. And we got more and more people hitting 275 in multiple categories. So pull arm here, Gilles. It's going to suck when these guys die. Man, we spent so much time building them up. And Hoki Hyena also hit 250 in pale. Let's sell off some stuff. So we got a ton of sheep and cows. Let's get rid of these. It's a lot of stuff in here that we don't really need. And then, yeah, we have a lot of grain. So that's not helping, but that's not the whole story. What else? We have a lot of fish. We still have a herding penalty, so we're going to have to get rid of some animals. We don't want to get rid of any pack animals. We're right at the limit for inventory capacity, so let's get rid of some of these other ones. There, so we're not getting herding penalty and we're not overburdened, but we are right at the limit. And we don't have a lot of stuff to sell other than maybe like charcoal and hardwood, although that was pretty hard to find, so we may not want to sell that stuff. Yeah, it seems like hardwood in this game is, for whatever reason, is really hard to find. It's getting gobbled up by the all these workshops. I think we'll do a little bit of smithing. We need to keep up with our inventory if we want to keep expanding our army anyways, our companion army. So what we're looking for is anything with a lot of hardwood. So this one's got three each. So we'll definitely smelt all of those. The war razor's got three. Fine steel hewing, that's got three. So there's some pretty good ones. And there's actually a lot of materials here that we can we can do without having to refine. But let's go through and redo some of this. All right, not bad. So we got a decent amount of hardwood and convert that to charcoal. So we can make some stuff. We don't have a lot of fine steel, but we could refine fine and that'll help quite a bit yeah, actually let's do that right now it's been quite a while since we expanded our melee calf we've been running with the same 10 and they seem to be surviving for a very long time i think we've only had to replace one person if i recall maybe, maybe we didn't no I'm, I'm pretty sure we lost one calf so maybe we'll expand that definitely need to expand more of our frontline infantry these guys are doing really well but we really need to start working on the crossbows i don't think we'll do that until we pass the million mark we're gonna need a bunch of money i mean we could start it right now but the problem is if we're using this stuff it's it's mostly junk it just doesn't do that much damage yeah unless you're using the the 500 pound crossbow the crossbows are already at a little bit of a disadvantage versus the the bows so we kind of need to just go right for the late game stuff it's a shame we're not using bow and arrow because we've got some pretty good ones we've got the pole arm that goes on foot we don't have the couch lance so let's get a couple of those and we also don't have any more if i'm not mistaken we don't have any more javelins yeah we used them all let's get a couple of each of those yeah, let's get two of these we already got six of the javelins we already have three yeah so we're good this this should be enough we'll save the rest i i don't think we need too much else right now but let's take in our two cav and three infantry so we got kibor slay Mame. it's gonna be rocking the cav We've got Lejeune on cav as well. And then we've got three infantry with pole arms. Archduke Ferdinand, Demite, and Iznu Dune Raider. Let's get these boys all situated. So standard equipment, Lazy Boy Couch Lance for both cav. We've got the Cavalry Nightmare and the rifles, two stacks, and a good shield for everybody. So let's get everybody moved into the right position. So now instead of 10, we've got 12 cav and of course three more infantry. So that puts us back up to 90, but we still have a... Oh man, we're actually only using up half of our party size. We did hit clan tier 4, so we're eligible for forming our own kingdom at some point if we decide to go that route. Probably won't, but I guess you never know. We've only got 61 companions, we should probably pick up the pace on that. But again, I don't want to go too crazy until we have our million. That's going to make a big difference. Our party wage is pretty low because of all the perks that we've got. We've got contractor, mercenary connections, and then we've also got the minus 25% for all companion wages. So these guys are normally super expensive, but they're actually pretty affordable. I mean, they're still, even so, they're still pricey. Like this guy is close to double with the highest standard troop wages. Now, are they worth double what a regular troop is? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Pro probably not, but it's a lot of fun. We've been at war with Kazate before, but we haven't actually fought them yet. I'm a little nervous because I know their horse archers will shred us to bits. We don't have a lot of archers ourselves. We don't have a lot of range units, so we should probably figure something out. Now, mercenary contract is still paying decent money, so we should probably continue that as long as we are able. So maybe it means picking off some of these little groups like this. Some Vlandian deserters. Interesting. So we could get some Vlandian gear here. Let's try and get a couch length here. There we go. All right, I don't know what is going on. We just lost somebody. It was like the first hit of the battle, We somebody, one of our guys went down. Tiny, tiny battle, and we're losing people. This is insane. But that's that's just, you know, sometimes it's RNG's a little weird. Because the odds of getting hit in the face are pretty slim, but I guess when it happens, you know, not much you can do about it. Heart of War. All right, let's see it. We had a single person go down, and of course it was Demite. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I guess we could have played more defensive, but I don't know that it would have made much difference. Well, did my, that didn't last too long, I don't think. I think we just hired you, if I remember. But let's go ahead and hire a replacement. We got Urs Mersman, and unfortunately we do have to craft some stuff because we don't have what we need. So we'll just, I guess we'll just craft on demand. I don't mind doing that. Keep our inventory clean. So we need one of these. We need two of these, and that's it. So there we go. He's all set up. Cavalry Nightmare, two rifles, and let's not forget to lock that. Galahad Periwinkle, 275 Athletics. I think uh, we've got a lot of people there, actually. Well, you know what? We didn't move. Let's go ahead and move Urs Mersman. But let's start heading east and see if we can pick some fights with the Kazates. Curious to see how well they hold up against our army. I, I feel like we're going to get beat up a little bit, but you never know.